I am bouncing. I am so bouncing. I have so, so exciting special news for me anyways, guys. I hope you'll be excited too. And, uh, yes, and I also want to show you this fabulous little trick that I've got. Hanging from one finger. Got a little uh, gadget back there. And um, it's been a big struggle for us to hang these boards unless we have a frame. Frames can be pretty expensive. So um, if you're like me, I have a collage of paintings all over the wall. And some of them I've done on boards. And I thought, well, maybe, you know, I won't like it. Or I just want to practice this one. And I'll just get these cheaper canvas boards. And, you know, they're easier to store. And... Definitely, you know, compared to these regular canvases that are wrapped, you know, they're so easy to hang just from a nail or a tack, okay, guys? They're, they're so easy. So I want to share this little discovery that I found because uh, I'm having a big art sale. I have one every year in the summer, and I paint. I sell a lot of my paintings. So anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I have a few people here. Hello, bonjour, bonjour, Audrey. Hello, Sue. Hello, Dorothy. Hello, Cherise. I'm so excited you guys are joining me here today because I got lots to share. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Belva. You have new glasses? Yes, they busted my glasses. I had to go get new ones. I got a pack of five, and these ones are my orange ones I've got that I'm sporting today. They came in a bunch of different colors. I just buy the cheap readers and uh, <laughs> disposable. Um, so that's all I need is for a close-up to see. And especially in details, right? So sometimes I even use stronger magnifiers when I really want to paint tiny and uh, get into those details. So yes, thank you. Thank you, Terry, for joining us today. I am so, 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 so excited. <laughs> I have some major news here, and I want to thank everybody for being a part of this group. Um, it's just been a wonderful, wonderful journey. I want to thank all my VIPs that have been a part of me, especially the ones that have been my OGs that have been around since the way the beginning. And um, there's always ways of doing things, right? Like I said, I'm just like so excited about this new discovery here, and um, that I already tested on a couple boards. And I even tested on a bigger board too, guys, okay? So it is hanging no problem with the 16 by 20s, all right? If you feel like you want to have, you know, a little bit more reinforcement, then that's still possible for, like, even bigger ones, okay? So depending on what size you guys have, this is a flat board, all right? So I'm keeping the secret to a little bit later. All right, to keep you guys hanging on, because I do have a few things I want to tell you and um, share with you guys before I do share that. I've been playing around with one stroke for quite a long time, but I started off with nails, really tiny, and then I found Donna Dewberry, and we started painting bigger, and I fell in love with all kinds of sizes. I started off with my level one, and then I jumped into my level two, and then Donna has so many wonderful different courses that we played with. Um, I did the W oils way back in the day when she used to carry that line and then now it's changed into the pure paints So I am certified now into the pure line if you guys want to do something a little bit more uh, With a different kind of paint then definitely I want to start having some classes with that as well And then I did an oversized certification. So I am certified to teach any of the oversized ones Hint hint. Um, yeah, so then I did the um skill builders and I've also done the um, 16 drawing and designs that helped me come up with my own version of Donna's ideas that she put together for all kinds of different designs throughout the seasons. I've got some fun ones coming up for the holidays that we did there. Yes, you want to see the desk view. I'm sorry. Alright, this is actually um, another big thing I wanted to tell you guys, I haven't told you yet, is... I am now certifying elites! Yes, I was told, emailed, Donna officially told me I am going to be now a certified elite. I'm so, so excited. I've already been an elite and I was doing a level one skill builder version with Dorothy already. She just got her certificate. I was so excited. So I got one under my belt and that was under Donna's wing. And now I am officially, officially a certifying elite. 
Oh my god, I'm so, 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 so excited, guys. I know, I like, uh, I don't know what to tell you first. Like, I don't, what am I more excited about, this hanging thing or my Surveying Elite? I don't know, I'm telling you. It's just the top, it was tossed up today because, yes, I can help you with your level 1 now, certify you, grade your boards, and help you with that skill builders if you want to do it that way too. So contact me, guys, private message me. And we could talk more about the the level one and uh, get you guys going on that if you want to bump up your game just a little bit more and uh, really make sure that you're on scale with Donna's ways of doing things and and all the uh, the different boards that she has to help challenge you to learn new things. So yeah, lots of fun things. Okay, we have different options when we're hanging our. Uh, wrapped canvases, right? We have these little doohickeys, and I actually found some better ones guys, while I'm here to show you about these. These ones here have a little bit more of a hook on them. So if you want to hang your big oversized canvases, they do have some huge ones here. You can put two of them on each side. And because traditionally these are the ones that I had found first for my wrapped canvases, just to give them a little bit more, uh, something more professional backing for my commissions or you know people that I sell my paintings to so I do want to give them a little bit more security so their canvases don't fall off the edge of the wrap canvases right so these this little kit that I found actually has uh, more durable screws in them and um, definitely you know you can put the this little kit there's lots of them in this little kit I found this on Amazon all right because we're locked out I have nowhere else to shop so definitely I'm finding all kinds of cool things on Amazon and uh, when you get free shipping why not right? So those this is the new kit that I just picked up like I said it's pretty heavy duty um, for your wrapped canvases right and then of course um, you know your boards we need to frame them. This is actually one of the designs that I had to do for my Certifying Elite. I had to do two of my own originals inspired by level one and level two. So I picked two different boards. I had one that I did with the um, level one and then I did another board that is inspired by level two as well. So eventually I'm hoping that these will be classes as well. Uh, by the way, <laughs> I just wanted to uh, share that little extra with you. All right. So these are the little things, the uh, little gadgets that I found. All right. So when you go shopping, guys, a lot of times these little things are attached to the packaging that you're buying and you throw them in the garbage. Well, they got to find these little doohickeys to put onto their baggie somewhere, right? <laughs> So I found a whole pack of them. And that's what I was saying. The only thing that you need is a pair of scissors because I couldn't get this package open. And then, of course, there's a whole rack of them in here. And they're all on one big strip. Alright. So, this is what I say. You may need some scissors. <laughs> Alright. And they are actually pretty durable, guys. They are, like I said, it's just for packaging when people are selling things, right? And they have, they're made by 3M, right? Because I was searching for different ideas about 3M too, because I'm, you know, they got so many cool uh, products out now. So yeah, they sell these bundles of little plastic doohickeys uh, in there. So you have lots and lots and lots of them to, uh, to, to hang your canvases up with. All right, they're really, really sturdy. And like I said, I have only one of them on the um, 16 by 20. But you can definitely put space them out and put two of them on here. If you really want to, right? So, yeah, I'm like so, so excited. I can You can even still put a tack in the wall and just hang your flat boards up. Or just this little tiny nail. All right, so it's really, really easy, guys, to um, pop these on. I mean, they are so, so easy. They do have a little bit of a crease in there. You can kind of bend it, but you don't really need to. And I'm afraid that the plastic's going to snap if you do try to fold it in half. 
But definitely, you know, it's so, so easy. Like, there's little line markers that you can get a, a ruler out if you really want to measure how low you want to put them and make sure they're straight. But they're pretty forgivable, guys. All right? It's going to hang with the weight right in the little corner of the V here. And uh, so you just want to have them, you know, a little bit lower than the top. And, you know, definitely, you know, if you have to get it right in the middle, right, get your ruler out, guys. But like I said, I've just been ha hanging them by eye. Push on it really good. And I'll make sure that all this little, I don't know if you guys can see, there's tiny little bit of air in there. So, you know, push on it really good with your scissors. Like I said, the only tool you need. <laughs> And uh, this is a good example because you can kind of see with the blue behind it. All right. So all those little possible air bubbles that might be in there are all gone. And then you just kind of pull it back a little bit and it'll start to keep that memory a little bit. And like I said, it'll just hang on the edge of a screw. And um, what do they say Bob's your uncle. <laughs> And you can hang your boards. What do you think about that, guys? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just checking out all my comments here now. Uh, yippee, never never you. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, I've been working hard trying to get all these assignments done. And now I am, like, ecstatic to be a certifying elite. And um, now I can really concentrate on... Uh, more projects for you guys and come up with some more originals and some more of my favorite Donna Dewberry ones and um, yeah I'm so 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 excited thank you thank you thank you guys yes definitely Cecilia will add that fruit basket to the to the calendar for sure you like that idea, Sue? Need, need idea, eh? No damage for your walls. Great idea. You don't have to go and spend extra money on the uh, frames. And yes, I got those at Amazon. I'll show you, I'll share the link with you guys after the live. I'll post it in the group for you guys. And or in the description in YouTube, okay? So if you guys are watching this on YouTube, then please, uh, you know, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, so you know when I'm going to be posting new videos, if you like that platform better. Or, like I said, join us on the Facebook group. For sure, we're going to do some more painting, guys. So, yeah, this, like I said, there was like, I think a hundred of them in this pack. I can't remember, guys, uh, how many of them they were. They were really, really efficient. Actually, let me just pull, pull this up right now. If I can quickly for you guys to give you the details right now. All right, because on my Amazon, I have it in my orders. And I'll post the link for you guys. So they're called Betty Betley Hanging Display Tabs. And they're 1.7 by 1.7 clear. Inexpensive and stick to just about anything. Sturdy plastic, strong adhesive, one side. How many is in there? I know it's all... Oh, 250, guys. 250 pack. Okay, so you have loads and loads and loads of these. You guys can share with your friends. <laughs> they have to share, uh, sell some on my site if you guys just want a few of them. <laughs> Tell me you want a 10 pack. <laughs> And uh, I'll put them on my site. <laughs> and then when you guys are ordering paint, then you can order a 10 back. Okay, and uh, how much were they? This is Canadian guys too. So if you're down in America or other countries, your dollar might be a little bit different or cheaper. And um, I know I'm scatterbrained. Um, these were originally 20 bucks, guys. Okay, on Amazon. Canadian so American works out cheaper just like my site guys when you sign up with all my stuff on my site it's in, shown in Canadian dollars so it does work out a little bit cheaper with the exchange and it'll always change depending on our lovely dollar all right so let's get back here to my old ace view <laughs> oh 
my god, I'm so excited, guys. Yes, I'm just pumping. I'm pumping and pumping. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Donna, Amanda, and Mark Newberry. You guys, oh my god, if big, big, huge, big virtual, I can't even speak, <laughs> virtual hug. Thank you, thank you for all your support and knowing, you know, that I could do this and, um, it just, just means the world to me. I just love, love, love being a part of the One Stroke world. And um, if you guys have any questions at all, please just private message me anytime, guys. Okay, I'm here to help. Uh, yes, I'm getting the frost paints in, uh, but I'm only shipping across Canada, guys. Okay, so if you need anything down in the States or globally, Donna has it all. All right, so check it out. A lot of people from Canada are... Um, frustrated because we can't get any of stuff up here or it's not easy for them and or you guys are already students of mine and you want to help uh promote me and you know being a, in canada up here all the canadian one strokers out there definitely love to help you you know i have the, the supplies now for what i like to use in my projects i like to make sure that i have the paint colors for you guys there too so it's easy for you to order any of the brushes and paint and mediums, all the different glass mediums, textile mediums, they're all on my site now, guys, and I have more in the mail coming for uh, stock for new colors, the color shift, and metallics, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I have it all on my site, guys, now. I did uh, a big change makeover on my site again, too, because my libraries will keep growing. So, there's a bunch of little sub-libraries, and they're all in one site member library menu you scroll down you'll see the see the 25 dollar easy paint parties you'll see the harder projects that are individual i have the series now anything that has multiple courses or multi whatever like i did the fruit series now i'm doing the flower series that's in a different library so it's easy for you guys to find what you're looking for and then of course the i made it official those 12 first courses that i created my very first 12 courses that i ever created are in that intro package and that's for the beginners that are new to one stroke and or want more independent you know learning it's already there for you and you can just um, contact me if you have any questions or meet with me because with that intro program i am giving a free half hour of private zoom too guys all right so um definitely lots of benefits of being one of my vips all right my vips now save 20 percent off any of the future events you gotta log in guys okay so don't forget to log in all right so i kept you here long enough with all my exciting news all right so Thank you for joining me today for my little hot topic, my little 3M doohickey guys, alright. Um, I, I was actually stumbled across this, guys. I was fooling around looking for ideas. What can I stick to? I thought, there's something I can stick to it. This was my first idea. And then I did go and look, uh, Google a little bit, and there was just no ideas. There was all kinds of uh, ways of making frames and stuff like that, but then there was nothing just simple and easy. Uh, that didn't require any tools <laughs> and uh, or real heavy duty glues or something you know and um and then i found only one video on youtube where there was a guy using these two so that's when i thought okay they, they gotta work right so i guess i am number two and this is maybe i'll have to edit this and add this to my painting hacks guys all right i got six of them there already check out my painting hacks if you need help and um i always try to come up with wacky ideas how to use what you have at home redo reuse invent reimagine whatever you want to call it <laughs> all right and come up with efficient ways of doing things <laughs> remember my finger was stick in there <laughs> Alrighty, thanks, thanks, thanks again, guys.